There's something barn owls and people have in common. They like building homes in the same places. One man is working to make sure our state's booming population doesn't mean these owls no longer have a place to call their own. As you look around, there's nothing but just big open fields. And this is ideal habitat because there's, there's not a lot of people out here. There's not a lot of cars. So today we have barn owls in this nest box. We're gonna extract the owls. Hi guys, my name is Scott Rashid. So I'm the director of the Colorado Avian Research and Rehabilitation Institute, or CARI. The reason I started the barn owl project is because the barn owl numbers have been declining over the years. They're declining due to loss of habitat, loss of nesting sites, disease and predation. I know, this is horrible being a little bird like this. They need a cavity to nest in, but they won't create it themselves. Oh, cute little guy. So I've created these large structures for the barn owls. So we're actually south of Platteville. Uh, we're uh, partnering with the Occidental Oil Company. This is a, a property where we have some oil and gas development that we actually own the surface. There were a lot of derelict uh, turkey barns. And so as part of our due diligence there, we discovered a lot of barn owls living in them. And through that, we reached out to Colorado Parks and Wildlife and they set us up with, with Scott. I just want to get this little guy. He's a little scared. And we were able to not only take down those uh, turkey barns and restore that habitat, but also put in some alternative nesting sites. For this is an adult barn owl that banded actually as an adult. And she's in this box still. This is pretty exciting. And they are about as soft as they look. The goal of the project is to increase barn owl numbers because they, they're declining so badly in Colorado because the habitat's being destroyed due to housing development. And so if I can help the owls by putting up nest boxes in great habitat for them, then the barn owls will start to grow and thrive and we'll have a decent barn owl population again. Scott says anywhere from 50 to 70 owls hatch in his boxes every year. He also has a similar program trying to save Colorado's American kestrel population.